welcome to this part of the educational series, which is designed to focus on technical analysis. Let's continue by understanding Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands were created by John Bollinger to measure a level of volatility in the market. They can help identify overbought and oversold areas in the market by applying a band to price in order to measure how volatile the market conditions are. Let's go to the live market and take a look at the pound dollar on a daily chart to illustrate how we can trade using Bollinger Bands. The upper and lower bands represent two standard deviations away from the market, and the middle band is based on a simple moving average. There are many combinations that one can use in terms of the Bollinger Bands settings. However, the default and most common settings used are a period of 20 with a deviation of 2. Bollinger Bands can be used in ranging or choppy markets, that is, during times of consolidation like here, and also in trending markets. Therefore, this tool can be used by scalpers, day traders, and even long-term traders. Let's firstly take a look at how we can trade these bands in tight ranging conditions. As you can see, the market is ranging at this highlighted section. Note that price bounced between the upper and lower bands whilst it is ranging. Note that in this example, the range is small, therefore opportunities arise for both longs and shorts to be undertaken. A strategy can simply be followed by taking a short at this point. Once the price hits the upper band, placing a stop loss above the upper band here, and a profit target may be placed at the bottom band here. Once the lower band has been hit, the sell trade is closed. However, an opportunity to go long or buy arises. A buy can be executed here with a stop loss below the lower band and a profit target set at the point where the price hits the upper band. As you can see from these examples here, there were multiple trades to take both long and short. Another way to trade with Bollinger Bands is to focus on contraction and expansion. In simple terms, when the market ranges in a tight area or consolidates, it's known as contraction. Generally what occurs in trading is when the market contracts like this, a breakout tends to follow. This is known as an expansion in the market. As you can see, the market had contracted here, then dynamically expanded to the upside, creating an uptrend. Traders can employ this strategy when trading with these bands. Traders can enter a long position once the market is broken out of the range at this point, highlighting a potential move higher. Using various tools to execute the buy once they have recognized at a point that the trade might trade higher can help determine the entry. Basic tools such as previous support as leverage or even trend line breaks can help to determine the buy. A stop to be placed below the entry at a point of tolerance and a profit target measured by the range of the contracted area or potentially a break back below the middle band. Let's take a look at a short example. This is the ranging zone with potential for trades within the contracting period. Once the price clearly breaks out and expands to the downside, a sell can be executed here, for example, or even here. Once the direction has been determined, in this case, to trade a sell or to go short, the entry and exit points must be managed applying a sound risk management ratio. This expansion strategy can be traded on many time frames. Let's take a look at another strategy designed to use Bollinger Bands. One of the most difficult aspects of trading is to determine the trend. 
In this case, we will use a certain technique with the bands to help us determine the trend. Firstly, this setup requires patience and discipline, as the bands will tell us which way we are trading, either long or short. Using candlesticks for this technique is preferred, as you can see the closing price better than any other type of chart. An understanding of price support and resistance is critical for the entry, so please visit the support and resistance modules if you haven't done so already. Let's start with buys or longs. Step 1. We need the candle to clearly close above the upper Bollinger Band line. For instance, like here. The closing price has closed above the upper band line. Please note here, if you look closely, the closing price of these candles have not closed above the upper band. Only their wicks have gone above the band, but the actual candles have closed below the upper band. So this occurring is critical as the part of the first criteria of the trade has been met. Once we clearly see that the green candle has closed above the upper band, we must ensure that when this occurred, that a new high was also generated. For example, when the candle closed above the upper band, we also had price generate a new high. This is critical as this part of the setup defines the direction of the trade, and that is to go long once these two elements of the trade have been met. Just to repeat that step one more time, once the candle closes above the upper band, we must ensure that in the process a new high has also been generated. Step two is to look for a specific entry point so we know when to buy. This is where previous price highs and lows come into play as these are the points we need to use as reference to execute the order. When step one has been confirmed here, we need to wait for the market to retrace back to a previous high, find a relevant high to use, then execute the buy order. For example, here. Price has acted as a magnet and retraced back to these previous price highs, paused, and continued to move higher in the uptrend. A stop loss can be tight below the previous high levels, and new highs can be targeted in terms of a profit point. Let's take a look at a sell or short trade. Let's highlight the candle that closed below the lower band. Here, in this example. As you can see, the market is trending down, and this red candle has closed well below the lower band. Furthermore, a new low has also been established, as you can see when we compare this low to the previous low. Once this part of the trade criteria has been met, we understand we are looking for an entry point to go short. We need to look for previous lows to act as resistance to define the entry. As you can see, we will use this low here, and once the price retraces back to this point, a sell order can be taken. A stop loss is placed back above the entry at a point of tolerance, for example, just here, and a profit target to be placed at new lows. With this technique, we are defining the trend via the Bollinger Bands, then using price levels as a form of entry and exit. If we scroll through the chart, it is evident that these setups occur over and over. Here are some further examples of these trades. In essence, trading with Bollinger Bands can help determine specific trade setups. It's up to us as traders to understand the purpose of them and to apply them in a manner that will ensure equity growth.
Trading It has designed a free custom-built Bollinger Band indicator for you called Trading It BB Band. Go to the Trader's Toolbox to download this indicator that will help you trade these setups. This concludes this educational series on Bollinger Bands. Please join the largest community of traders worldwide.